this is where Auntie Duck used to walk up here and then into this doorway here which was the campsite. If you're wondering where I've been for the last week or so, I'm still alive after the um, the fair. Did look a bit rough on them screenshots, but uh, I'm doing okay. But thought I'd bring us somewhere a little bit interesting, a little bit of history there. Oh, drone racing. Yeah. If you can hear some noise, there's drone racing. I didn't know that was happening. I haven't brought you to a drone race, but I could do me a bit quiet while I'm recording this. Anyway, where are we? Oh yeah, today, what was announced today back on the old uh, news? I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity filming in Australia next year. Wee, so that castle was a bit, uh, it was all right. It wasn't the same, but that castle was a bit rubbish compared to the jungle. I thought I'd bring it to the castle. So Abigali Castle, don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, that's where we are. You are? Begins with a G. Begins with a G. And it goes for a W. And then a W. Don't spell a word, so spell out. <laughs> no, that's not I don't know why I think so. But anyway, we are at the... With? Griff Castle? Griff Castle? You can Google it. Anyway, Castle. I've just asked somebody, it's called Grish Castle, apparently. That's from a full on 100% Welsh lady, so. <laughs> If you're going to try and judge me, judge the lady who works for the castle. Who's Welsh? Thank you. Who's that? He wasn't going to be I think we must have climbed about 400 stairs with a pram so far. So good idea to come here with a pram. I didn't think I'd be climbing that many stairs though. But I think we are at the top now. What do you think of the view, Beth? Yeah, nice. I'm a celebrity, obviously, was filmed here, but it was all done in a studio set at the back. So we're not going to see anything where the beds were, where the campsite was, where the toilet was, because it was all in. And if you go on the internet, you can see the aerial pictures of the big shed that they lived in the back, so no I'm a celebrity going to be here, but it is the castle that Anton Dett walked on, so <laughs> who cares about anything else? <laughs> it's it's not like a proper tourist. <laughs> <laughs> So if you watch I'm a Celebrity, you know that them stairs there were the ones that led up to the little camp and they come across to the left and then up. This is where Anton Deck used to walk up here and then into this doorway here, which was the campsite. I told you it wasn't a, uh, a real, ca uh, real castle then, I told you it was a set. So this here would have been where, right here, they slept and then through there, Actually, no, this was the uh, fireplace area, and then through there would have been where they slept. So, uh, yeah, fun fact there for you. I'm a celebrity is fake. Good, but it's all for the tally. Oh, Amelia's woke up. Hello. Hey. How are you? Place up there, they go and sit and talk. He asked Clegg when he just rung me. He says, um, Good day. There are um, three Aussies in a castle. What were their names? Was it A, Anton Dack? Was it B, Steve Irving? Or was it C, Rolf Harris? And I was like, Well, they're both Australians, aren't they? So I don't know the answer. And he says, B. <laughs> and he shut the door on me and I didn't, didn't get anything. But we tried. I was hoping for a couple of um, chicken nuggets, but we didn't get any. I have just been in now, but I forgot to the cord. Now I need some hand sanitizer. That's a bit of a building size.
for all the eagle-eyed viewers, this is the bit where the uh, celebrities used to sit and probably listen to some round and dump when that sounds like. Jordan North used to set up here. I think he was chucking stones at them below. It looked a lot <laughs> higher on the uh, programme, but... Uh, so I think in there where we've just been, where the phone box was, I think that was where the used to get the water and things. <laughs> that there is definitely where the camp was. <laughs> are you at Amsterdam Castle? You are. Now what I want to know is, have you clicked on this video to see our celebrity stuff? Or have celebrity. you clicked on it to yeah. see... <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Have you if you've clicked on it for Amber Celebrity stuff, you're in luck. If you've clicked on it because you want to see the castle, then you're not in luck. Either way, subscribe because I really does I really do appreciate it. Now we've got some real life Armour Celebrity merchandise. A rope. Now I don't know, but there's no mention of Armour Celebrity anywhere, is there really on there? So apart from me, your yeah. uh, Armour Celebrity tour guide, yeah. there's nothing else. There's little things like the rope and the phone box, but there's not even any information about what they are. So if you didn't know Armour Celebrity was here, then you wouldn't have, um, you wouldn't know why it's there. It's as if they're not allowed due to copyright or something. As all the Armour Celebrity fans out there know, this is where they walked up when they first arrived into the castle and when they walked down when they wanted to leave. I could be a fan. And just here to your right is the shop where they never want any food. <laughs> Kiosk Glegwin. Now at the bottom of here was Anton Deck. That means this means that Anton Deck's little area room was faked. Now I thought that was real, but it wasn't. This here, I think, is Kopi. Hello. Hello. So this here, I'm pretty certain with that doorway there, you would have walked through. And this would have been Anton Deck's room where they presented from, which I thought was a room because it had a perfect look across at the castle, which should be there. And then that there would have been where they stand. They shout, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here! Anton Deck would have probably touched that. I high fired Anton once. Or deck even, it was deck, definitely deck. Yeah, I I five deck once at a, um, a live Saturday night takeaway thing in Majiggy. Um, totally did. I'll put a picture on for you to have a look at. And when they were filming all this, you think, whoa, this castle must be in the middle of nowhere because you can't see anything. It's just a big castle. Wow, you're wrong, because if you look there, there's Abba Galley and the sea. So they had quite a nice view if you actually looked out the windows, if you had windows. Another thing I didn't know, and if you can't see me because I've got the wrong lens on, so I'm a bit zoomed in, but I'll go back a bit. I'm sure on Armour Celebrity they had doors over this here, and Anton Deck came through the doors because he definitely didn't have that behind. I'm a celebrity. Movie magic. But why not leave the doors and things in? Well, if you put something there and made it look nice for a TV programme, then why not leave it there? Right, well, I think that's about it for the castle. We're heading back down to the car park now. Another exclusive. So our deck stayed. That definitely is a studio there because they could see them out there looking at the entrance which is there. So 100% that like is where it was. Movie magic on I'm a Celebrity Wales edition.
Another interesting fact, I don't know if you know, it was all filmed at night as well. Now you might be wondering where were all the night trials? It was always at night because of the timing in the film and how long it took. I don't think they had their food until like 3 o'clock in the morning, so their evening meal was at 3 a.m. If you're wondering where that was filmed and all them underground trial areas in the basement of the castle then, there's no basement in that castle. It was probably filmed on the grass over here. And if you read into it, I think somebody, I think Jordan North might have said on the radio, that um, you had to travel to the area so yeah definitely not the trials are on there some were done on the grounds up here which I don't think I got on the film in the garden areas but mainly I think they were done somewhere else definitely is worth a visit so if you're in Harbour Galley or nearby and Land Dudno come over it's only about half an hour from Land Dudno I think it's only a five I get in you book online so as long as it's not raining if it was raining it'd probably be a different story but for a five eh? a nice little day out for a couple of hours you've been here about an hour or so and also as well you're supporting the castle because the castle as you can look if you see on their facebook page the castle is always after donations because they're trying to get it all repaired it was, it was owned by somebody we went to a spa yesterday in chester where we got married a double tree elton chester you know a bit posh and as we checked out this morning we told the woman where we were going and she lived around here and she was saying the guy who used to own it wasn't refurbishing it was getting it go letting it go into disrepair since then he's been bought out and now they are trying to fix it up so if you've got any money you want to come visit or donate then the money that they spent that they got from i'm a celebrity which you think would be more more than it actually was only helps to put together the roof which i think was in one of the little rooms back there so it's not that much really money does not go very far unless you come here it's only a five to get in so we're on the campsite just here so we're walking back but normally you drive down here uh, next to the golf course say goodbye castle i didn't realize i'm a bit of a geek i think i actually probably know a bit too much in a thought when it comes to i'm a celebrity <laughs> know nothing about the the um, castle so thanks for watching if you don't like i'm a celebrity because i don't know anything about the castle hopefully i filled your brains of i'm a celebrity information and didn't ruin it too much with all the uh, the fakeness that movie magic so we know that Anton and Dex little room was fake I don't know that until just and we know that the camp and the bedding area is fake but at least we saw a real dunny unless it didn't have a port party inside I couldn't go into filming so but it did look like a real dunny so that was okay movie magic not there when you could do when you come to the toilet but yeah just sending back so if, if you're in the area come and visit it's only five pounds whatever visit as long as it's not raining because it's all outside thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you've subscribed if you haven't then why not Anything you want to add back? No, Amelia, Mark. Anything? Amelia? <laughs> ah, yeah, cheeky you are. Uh, and that's it, yeah, so thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I will see